Atlanta is leveraging information and communications technology to build a smart city. Mayor Kasim Reed and his team developed a comprehensive and inclusive plan. They call it Smart ATL. Our mayor likes, likes to say that Atlanta is a city that's um, too busy to hate. So the city of Atlanta is one of AT&T's spotlight cities. Um, and what that meant for us was the access to AT&T's not only knowledge, but also products and services that help us deliver on our smart city goals. So the five solution domains that we focus on are energy and utilities, mm -hmm. traffic and transportation, public safety, citizen engagement, and infrastructure, right? Mm -hmm. and, and those um, are the solution domains that sit inside of our AT&T Smart Cities Framework, um, which is where we help cities develop a holistic strategy uh, that includes connectivity, applications, um, those, those vertically integrated solutions that add value, and then of course uh, making sure that we've got the right uh, alliance members that can help to go out and implement those solutions in the cities. Who knows what's next, but we're going to be, as an industry, providing the connectivity that's going to enable vast changes, not just in our industry, but in every other segment of the economy. Key to success was focus and interdepartmental cooperation public-private partnerships, and a vision. Tory Martin leads Smart ATL. What we're trying to do, we're trying to leverage data in order to make better informed decisions on how to move um, the needle on areas like mobility, uh, public safety, sustainability, economic development, equity, um, and city operational services. So we're trying to improve those things for the overall um, health of the city bringing on other departments like solid waste services through the use of big bellies, bringing our, uh, our Department of Public Works through the use of um, IOT lights and, and traffic signals and traffic cameras. Um, we're really starting to bring in a lot of the other departments into, in, into the fold in terms of utilizing data to be as efficient and as forward thinking as we can be. Ultimately, there will be multiple paths for us to connect right, all these devices and it's going to be maybe a blend of uh, 4G LTE, eventually 5G, uh, uh, radio, uh, you know, microwave, you know, you name it, right? It's going to be various, various um, uh, ICT solutions right, that we'll have to stitch together um, to get the coverage, right, um, that we need. And I don't think that's any different for any, for any major city. Um, we can't do it ourselves. Um, but certainly, uh, there's a huge value proposition for us to build our own, our own network and connect um, at least the, the very dense right, um, uh, parts of our city. I mean, there's a vast new frontier here that is going to require a lot of infrastructure. And the smart cities are the ones that invite, in an intelligent fashion, the infrastructure providers in so that they can get the services they need to their citizens.